Okay, this morning. Your personal reality, personal quotation mark, what is appearing in your awareness from your point of view? Is your mind out picture? Your world is a reflection of your own consciousness. Consciousness is not condition. Consciousness is just conscious. You are that at the source. And the conditioned mind is your story, your culture, your belief, your thought. They're not yours because consciousness has no thought. They are appearing in what you are in consciousness. The story of me is in your personal mind or the finite mind, the limited mind, the dualistic mind. So you're not the victim of your life, you are the creator. Because your world is a reflection of your state of consciousness. And our collective world is a reflection of our collective or the average of all the personal consciousness, the personal mind. Let's keep it clear with the word because consciousness is here before the mind. There is effortless awareness. That's as simple as that. This awareness is not conditioned. It's effortless. And it's non-dual. It's non-conceptual. Awareness is non-conceptual. That's your source. And with the mind, you conceptualize. Using the mind, you conceptualize. And when you are identified with being the mind, being the little person in the mind, you feel that you are living in time and space, that there is a linearity, cause and effect. And everything seems to take long. There's a concept of progress and process. Thoughts take time. Thoughts are the appearance of time, but there is no time. There is no process and progress because it's always only now. You can never not be now. You can never not be here. So at some point there is a realization that this is a virtual reality. There is no world. There is no world to save. There is no one to save. Because the world is a reflection of our collective consciousness. So the only place where you have true power, it's like if you believe something outside of you can be changed from the outside, it's as if you are trying to manipulate an image in a mirror and you look in the mirror with a sad face and you're trying to make the face in the mirror happy. It's not gonna work. <laughs> Only your happy face will make the mirror a happy face. Mirror being your life. Give me a sec. Everything that is appearing in your life in the moment that is it is appearing is a reflection of your state of consciousness if i'm trying to push something on someone i will meet resistance if i'm trying to push something it's a lack of faith if i speak with conviction i will receive conviction if i speak with doubt i will receive doubt there is no mistake the universe is in perfect harmony. Your life is already a perfect reflection because there is no gap. There is no gap <laughs> in the universe. 
every moment it is reflecting your state of consciousness now so you don't have to work at becoming better because it's always now what you have to do if there's one thing you have to do is that if you're sorry about the movement if your system is full of fear and anger you will not be able to take action. If your system is full of fear, trying to help, trying to be nice, being a good person, all these programs, they have to go. And, and if they are still unconscious, it's going to be hard to let them go if they are unconscious. So my work with you, If you book a time with me, there are a few things that I can do with you. First of all, realizing effortless awareness. I have a few exercises. Some of them are already available on my, on my YouTube if you want to look at them. Second, revealing the emotional charge that are still in your system in your cell, in your body that are making you react because when you realize this fully there's absolutely no reason to react to anything and there's absolutely no reason to not do what you love it's total freedom but there are steps along the way to empty the the system like I have no clear explanation but my process involves emptying myself of fear guilt shame anger sadness doubt by using somatic inquiry and feeling the feeling fully for the trigger that seemed to have a stickiness to them. Some trigger, they were quite easy. I could decline the thought. Just not interested in that. But when the trigger seem was more sticky, I needed some tool. And that's what I use when I do, when I work with you. For your system, to be emptied of doubt, to be emptied of guilt and shame. But then again, there is no process. But that will become more apparent and obvious the more your system is emptied. Because there will be natural effortlessness, natural fate. It's not going to be forced. It's not going to be like, I have to believe this. It's going to be, I don't have to believe anything. I'm free. I can do what I want. So everyone you see around you is another me. Is a, a little bundle of energy thought conditioned looking through in fact is the infinite being pure consciousness looking through the eyes of a body mind at an another universe because it's all the same reality seemingly different from the fractal lens of the conditioned mind. Everyone is infinite consciousness. Like everybody mind source is infinite consciousness, unconditioned. So when someone is criticizing you, it's not you that they are criticizing, it's the concept they have about you. And they are reflecting you, they are of service, they are reflecting 
your own energy body when you are empty of fear and anger everyone is nice with you because you are emanating niceness <laughs> without trying it's not fake it's a real embodied felt sense energetically so it's very powerful to work with somatic Revealing the unconscious, feeling the feeling attached, starting to embody your shadow. Because if your main program is to be nice, your shadow will be to be direct. You won't be able to be direct and blunt. But for those to be neutral, you have to be able to embody both. Sometimes you be nice and sometimes you be blunt and it doesn't matter. It's neutral. That's the work of embodiment. And then it feels like you live in a lucid dream and you're able to decide this. Oh, what, what do I want to, to do now? There's no story of maybe I will be able to do this later. It starts to appear in your life. It doesn't mean that you will have all the abundance really now, tomorrow. But the more you are free, abundance will be magnetized to you. But you gotta give it time because in the physical world to crystallize, some things will take a little bit of time. It's like, it's paradoxical, but... And some, some won't, like it's... And the more free you are, the less you live in the timeline of later, when I will get this. You don't live there anymore. It's the shift to the 4D, the 5D. But the heart has to open. There has to be so much love for your character that it's allowed to make mistakes. It's allowed to try things. It doesn't, it doesn't matter. It's a virtual reality. You are experiencing yourself. It's very high tech. It seems really real, but it's a hologram. It's like everything is made of vibration. And when we give it a name and form, it takes upon a meaning, but the, the object doesn't say that it means anything. Take money, for example. If you feel money is necessary, you will live that... Oh, sorry, <laughs> so I see here. You will live that vibration. If you feel money is evil, you will live that vibration. But money is neutral. It's not, everything is neutral. Everything is neutral. You give it a meaning. You give it an importance. With the mind. But you don't have to stay neutral. It might seem boring at first. Like everything is the same. <laughs> but really, from the neutral place, it's the foundation of rock. You will build your life on the foundation of rock when you come back to the baseline of neutrality. This is your, this is the first most important purpose in life is to realize truth. And then play the game of life. It's not serious. Okay, work with me if this resonates. It's 222 USD dollar for one hour, and I meet you exactly where you at. Come as you are. Okay, bye bye.